Welcome back to Blender Daily. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna demonstrate how you can get completely free animated characters from Mixamo and how to import them into Blender. Let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, I'm already on Mixamo.com and I also put the link to this page into the video description. Now, if you open Mixamo for the first time, you will be asked to log in with your Adobe account. But don't worry, you don't need to pay anything and you also don't need to have a Creative Cloud or any other Adobe subscription. You can just create a free account and you will get all the access to the free characters and animations on Mixamo.com. So let's just start on this character page where we can just scroll through all the different characters that we have available until we find one that we like. And I think this one here is pretty interesting, so I'm just gonna click on it and it will be opened in the 3D viewport on the right side. So currently it is pretty boring as it is just standing still in this uh, default T pose. So in order to give it some movement, let's switch to the animations tab where we have a lot of different mocap animations to choose from. So once you find one that you like, you can just click on it and it will be instantly loaded onto the character that we selected. Down here you can see that we have 52 pages of animations to choose from. So if you're looking for something specific, I don't recommend you to go through all of them until you find it. So instead you can just use this search bar up here. So in this case, I think I'm just gonna search for a backflip animation. And here we already have a few to choose from. And I'm just gonna go with this default one, which looks pretty cool. And it is also seamlessly looping. As you can see, this uh, animation is 65 frames long and it is starting over all the time without any visible seam. And before we download this animation, we have a few things that we can customize. So first of all, we can change the overdrive, which is gonna change the speed of the animation. So if we bring this down to zero, the animation will be really slow or we can bring this all the way up to 100 and now it is extremely fast. But I'm just gonna leave this on the default value of 50 and we could also change the character arm space. So if I bring this down, the arms will be really close to the body and in this case the hands are even clipping through the hips or we could bring this all the way up to 100 and now the arms are almost stretched out. Again, I'm gonna leave this on 50. And if you want to, you can also change the length of the animation by adjusting the trim, but I also leave this on the default. Then if you want to, you can mirror the animation from the left to the right, but again, I'm not gonna change anything in those options right here. With this set up, we can click on download and in here as well, I'm gonna leave everything on the default and just click download again. Then let's jump over into Blender where I'm gonna delete everything from the default scene. And then to import the character, go up to file, import, and we downloaded this as an FBX. Then go to the download folder, select our animation and choose import FBX. Now we already have this character in here. And in the timeline, you can also see the keyframes of our animation. So let's just set the length of the timeline to the length of our animation, which is 66 frames in this case. And now we can just uh, press the space bar in order to play the animation. Okay, so let's also take a quick look at the shader that comes with this character. So I'm gonna switch to the viewport shading preview and the default material already looks pretty good. However, if we go to the material tab and take a look at it, you can see that we have a default metallic value of 0.5. I don't really like to have uh, any metallicness for the skin shader. So I'm just gonna bring this down to zero. And up here you can see that we have two body materials. So for the other one, I'm gonna bring this metallic value to zero as well. So that's how easy it is to import any animated characters from Mixamo into Blender. And if you want to transform this character in any way, make sure that you select the armature and not the character itself. 
If you have the character selected and for example press G to move, R to rotate or S to scale, you can see that you get those weird deformations. So instead select the armature in order to move it around, rotate it or scale our character. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found it interesting and if you have any further questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I am Nick from Blender Daily, see you in the next one.